The Washington Nationals are a professional baseball team based in Washington, D.C. The Nationals compete in Major League Baseball MLB as a member club of the National League NL East Division. From 2005 to 2007, the team played in RFK Stadium. Since 2008, their home stadium has been Nationals Park on South Capitol Street in Southeast DC, near the Anacostia River. The Nationals are the eighth major league franchise to be based in Washington DC and the first since 1971. The current National League club was founded in 1969 as the Montreal Expos, part of the MLB expansion. The Expos were purchased by Major League Baseball in 2002, and the team was renamed the Nationals and moved to Washington, D.C. before the 2005 season, marking the first franchise relocation in MLB since the third Washington Senators moved to Texas in 1971. While the team initially struggled after moving to Washington, the Nationals have experienced considerable success in recent years, winning division titles in 2012, 2014, 2016, and 2017, although they have yet to advance out of the first round in the playoffs. Two of the team's first overall picks in the MLB draft, Steven Strasburg in 2009 and Bryce Harper in 2010, attracted new levels of attention to the team. At the time of his selection, Strasburg was called the most hyped pick in draft history, and Harper later became the youngest position player to be selected to the MLB All-Star Game. Including their time in Montreal, the Nationals are one of two franchises, and the only one in the National League, never to have won a league pennant and played in a World Series, along with the Seattle Mariners of the American League. History Early baseball in Washington, D.C. Multiple short-lived baseball franchises, including two named the Nationals, played in Washington with the National Association in the 1870s. The first Washington Nationals team in a major league played in the American Association in 1884. Another Washington Nationals team also played in the Union Association during its only season in 1884. The first Washington Nationals of the National League played from 1886 to 1889. Topic: <laughs> Washington Senators. The Washington Statesmen played in the American Association in 1891 before jumping to the National League as the Senators the following season. The Washington Senators, who were often referred to as the Nationals, played in the National League from 1892 to 1899. They were followed by another Washington Senators franchise in 1901, a charter member of the New American League, who were officially named the Washington Nationals from 1905 to 1956. The first American League Senators franchise moved to Minnesota in 1961 and became the Minnesota Twins. They were replaced that season by a second Senators franchise, who eventually moved to Arlington, Texas, after the 1971 season and became the Texas Rangers. <laughs> Montreal Expos The Montreal Expos, part of the MLB expansion, which included the Seattle Pilots now the Milwaukee Brewers, Kansas City Royals, and San Diego Padres. Based in Montreal, the Expos were the first major league team in Canada. The majority share owner was by Charles Bronfman, a major shareholder in Seagram. Named after the Expo 67 World's Fair, the Expo's initial home was Jerry Park. Managed by Gene Mausch, the team lost 110 games in their first season, coincidentally matching the Padres' inaugural win-loss record, and continued to struggle during their first decade with sub-.500 seasons. Starting in 1977, the team's home venue was Montreal's Olympic Stadium, built for the 1976 Summer Olympics. Two years later, the team won a franchise-high 95 games, finishing second in the National League East. The Expos began the 1980s with a core group of young players, including catcher Gary Carter, outfielders Tim Raines and Andre Dawson, third baseman Tim Wallach, and pitchers Steve Rogers and Bill Gullickson. The team won its only division championship in the strike-shortened split season of 1981, ending its season with a three games to two loss to the Los Angeles Dodgers in the National League Championship Series. 
The team spent most of the 1980s in the middle of the NL East pack, finishing in third or fourth place in eight out of nine seasons from 1982 to 1990. Buck Rogers was hired as manager before the 1985 season and guided the Expos to a .500 or better record five times in six years, with the highlight coming in 1987, when they won 91 games. They finished third, but were just four games behind the division-winning Cardinals. Braunefman sold the team to a consortium of owners in 1991, with Claude Broku as the managing general partner. Rogers, at that time second only to Gene Mausch in number of Expos games managed, was replaced partway through the 1991 season. In May 1992, Felipe Alou, a member of the Expos organization since 1976, was promoted to manager, becoming the first Dominican-born manager in MLB history. Alou would become the leader in Expos games managed, while guiding the team to winning records, including 1994, when the Expos, led by a talented group of players including Larry Walker, Moises Alou, Marquis Grissom and Pedro Martinez, had the best record in the major leagues until the 1994-95 Major League Baseball strike forced the cancellation of the remainder of the season. After the disappointment of 1994, Expos management began shedding its key players, and the team's fan support dwindled. Broku sold control of the team to Jeffrey Loria in 1999, but Loria failed to close on a plan to build a new downtown ballpark, and did not reach an agreement on television and English radio broadcast contracts for the 2000 season, reducing the team's media coverage. <laughs> Proposed 2001 contraction After the 2001 season, MLB considered revoking the team's franchise, along with either the Minnesota Twins or the Tampa Bay Devil Rays. In November 2001, Major League Baseball's owners voted 28-2 to contract the league by two teams. According to various sources, the Expos and the Minnesota Twins, both of which reportedly voted against contraction. Subsequently, the Boston Red Sox were sold to a partnership led by John W. Henry, owner of the Florida Marlins. In order to clear the way for Henry's group to assume ownership of the Red Sox, Henry sold the Marlins to Loria, and MLB purchased the Expos from Loria. However, the Metropolitan Sports Facilities Commission, operator of the Metrodome, won an injunction requiring the Twins to play there in 2002. Because MLB was unable to revoke the Twins franchise, it was compelled to keep both the Twins and Expos as part of the regular season schedule. In the collective bargaining agreement signed with the Major League Baseball Players Association MLBPA in August 2002, contraction was prohibited until the end of the contract in 2006. By that time, the Expos had become the Washington Nationals and the Twins had made sufficient progress towards the eventual building of a new baseball-specific stadium that contraction was no longer on the agenda. Creation of the Washington Nationals With contraction no longer an option for the immediate term, MLB began looking for a relocation site for the Expos. Some of the choices included Oklahoma City, Washington, D.C., San Juan, Puerto Rico, Monterey, Mexico, Portland, Oregon, somewhere in northern Virginia such as Arlington or Dulles, Norfolk, Virginia, Las Vegas, and Charlotte, North Carolina. Washington, D.C. and Virginia emerged as the front runners. In both 2003 and 2004, the Expos played 22 of their home games in San Juan, Puerto Rico at the Hiram Bithorn Stadium, and the remaining 59 in Montreal. On September 29, 2004, MLB announced that the Expos would move to Washington, D.C. in 2005. The Expos played their final game on October 3 at Shea Stadium, losing by a score of 8 1 against the New York Mets, the same opponent that the Expos first faced at its start, 35 years earlier. On November 15, a lawsuit by the former team owners against MLB and former majority owner Jeffrey Loria was struck down by arbitrators, bringing to an end all legal actions that would impede a move. The owners of the other MLB teams approved the move to Washington in a 28-1 vote on December 3 Baltimore Orioles owner Peter Angelos cast the sole dissenting vote. Washington baseball history revived Numerous professional baseball teams have called Washington, D.C. home. 
The Washington Senators, a founding member of the American League AL, played in the nation's capital from 1901 to 1960 before moving to Minnesota and becoming the Twins. The original Washington American League Baseball Club was founded by three local businessmen, Edward J. Walsh, Benjamin Minor, and Harry Rapley. Clark Griffith was hired as manager in 1912 and became a part owner, accumulating majority shares in later years. The stadium, originally known as National Park and then American League Park, later became known as Griffith Stadium. With notable stars including Walter Johnson and Joe Cronin, the Senators won the 1924 World Series and pennants in 1925 and 1933. The franchise became more successful after moving to Minnesota for the 1961 season to be renamed the Minnesota Twins. A second Washington Senators team 1961 had a winning record only once in its 11 years, although it featured slugger Frank Howard, who was inducted into the Ring of Fame at the new Nationals Park in 2016. This team was notable also because Ted Williams was manager in 1971. The expansion Senators moved to Arlington, Texas for the 1972 season and changed its name to the Texas Rangers. The city of Washington spent the next 33 years without a baseball team. Although there was some sentiment to revive the name Senators when the Montreal Expos franchise moved to Washington in 2005, legal and political considerations factored into the choice of Nationals, a revival of the first American League franchise's official name used from 1901 to 1956. Politicians and others in the District of Columbia objected to the name Senators because the District of Columbia does not have voting representation in Congress. In addition, the Rangers still owned the rights to the Senator's name, although the Nationals were able to acquire the rights to the curly W logo from the Rangers. Washington, D.C., Mayor Anthony A. Williams supported the name Washington Grays. In honor of the Negro League team the Homestead Grays 1929-1950, which had been based in Pittsburgh, but played many of their home games in Washington. In the end, the team owners chose the name, Washington Nationals. <laughs> Washington Nationals When Ted Lerner took over the club in mid-2006, he hired Stan Caston as team president. Caston was widely known as the architect of the Atlanta Braves before and during their run of 14 division titles. Caston was also the general manager or president of many other Atlanta area sports teams, including the Atlanta Hawks and Atlanta Thrashers. The plan, as it became known, was a long-range rebuilding and restructuring of the team from the ground up. This plan included investing in the farm system and the draft, and having a suitable team to go along with their new stadium. In the front office, the Nationals hired the well-respected former Arizona scouting director Mike Rizzo to be the vice president of baseball operations, second in charge under then-general manager Jim Bowden, thanks to back-to-back -back number one picks of Steven Strasburg in 2009 and Bryce Harper in 2010, and other strong moves to their farm system. The Nationals became a contending team by 2012, winning division titles in 2012, 2014, 2016, and 2017, but have lost in NLDS each time. In April 2015, Commissioner Rob Manfred announced that Nationals Park was selected by Major League Baseball to host the 2018 All-Star Game. In 2016, the Nationals acquired Mets infielder Daniel Murphy, who has made the All-Star Game in each of his two years as a National. On July 31, 2018, the Nationals set a scoring record with a 25-4 win over the Mets. Postseason appearances The Montreal Expos Washington Nationals franchise is the only National League franchise and one of only two MLB franchises, with the American League's Seattle Mariners, which has never reached the World Series. Although the Expos won one postseason series, the 1981 National League Division Series, during their 36 seasons in Montreal 1969 the Nationals have never won a postseason series since arriving in Washington in 2005 despite making four playoff appearances. Appeared as the Montreal Expos This and subsequent appearances as the Washington Nationals. People of note Topic. 
Managers Broadcasters Charlie Slows – Radio 2005 present Dave Shea – Radio 2005 Dave Jagler – Radio 2006 present Mel Proctor – TV 2005 Ron Darling – TV 2005 Bob Carpenter – TV 2006 present Tom Pachorek – TV 2006 Don Sutton – TV 2007-2008 Rob Dibble – TV 2009-2010 F.P. Santangelo – TV 2011-present Current roster Baseball Hall of Famers Ford C. Frick Award equals 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 Topic Retired Numbers During the franchise's period in Montreal, the Montreal Expos retired three numbers in honor of four players, plus Jackie Robinson's number 42, which was retired throughout all Major League Baseball in 1997. Following the move to Washington, D.C., the numbers except 42 were returned to circulation and remain in use as of 2016, although the Team History section of the Nationals website continues to refer to the numbers as retired. After the Expo's departure from Montreal, the National Hockey League's Montreal Canadiens hung a banner in Bell Centre honoring the Expo's retired numbers. Ring of Honor On August 10, 2010, the Nationals unveiled a Ring of Honor at Nationals Park to honor National Baseball Hall of Fame members who had played significant years for the Washington Nationals, original Washington Senators 1901-1960, expansion Washington Senators 1961-1971, Homestead Grays, or Montreal Expos. In late August 2016, the team dropped the criterion that an inductee be a member of the National Baseball Hall of Fame, also opening membership to anyone who has made a significant contribution to the game of baseball in Washington, D.C. The first inductee under the revised criteria was Frank Howard. The Nationals' attempt to honor the Montreal Washington franchise's entire history in the Ring of Honor, as well as by tracking Montreal Washington franchise records, is not without controversy. It has been criticized as an embodiment of the team's desire to find history before it can make much. Although Nationals fans generally take little interest in the franchise's Montreal years, some do appreciate acknowledging that the franchise has a history that predates its arrival in Washington, and former Expo Tim Raines received a warm round of applause from fans at Nationals Park at his induction ceremony on August 28, 2017, even though he had never even visited Washington, D.C., before, let alone played baseball there. Some Montreal Expos fans express appreciation that the Nationals are honoring the Expos, and Expos players inducted into the Ring of Honor have expressed gratitude that the Nationals chose to include them, especially with no MLB team in Montreal to honor their careers. However, few Nationals fans have taken an interest in franchise records, preferring to compare Nationals records with those of previous Washington MLB teams instead, and a segment of Nationals fans actively opposes the inclusion of Expos history into that of the Nationals, taking the view that the Montreal years are irrelevant to Washington and that the team made a complete break with its past and started anew when it arrived in Washington, inheriting the history of the two Washington Senators teams rather than that of the Expos. Similarly, Montreal Expos fans have taken little or no interest in the achievements of Nationals players, and some Expos fans strongly oppose the inclusion of former Expos in the ring, taking the position that to do so is to co-opt the history of the Expos, which they say belongs solely in Montreal. Observers also have noted that the admission of the first Nationals player to the Ring of Honor, Ivan Pudge, 
Rodriguez, although well liked as a national, highlights another awkward aspect of the Ring of Honor's acceptance criteria, because Rodriguez's inclusion arose out of his admission to the National Baseball Hall of Fame based on his exploits for other teams, not out of anything he did during a 155 game, two season stint with the Nationals at the end of his career in years in which the Nationals posted mediocre records. Nationals general manager Mike Rizzo responded that his inclusion had merit even based on his time with the Nationals, when he taught us how to be a professional franchise. In a ceremony held at Nationals Park between games of a doubleheader on the evening of September 8, 2018, the Nationals inducted former outfielder Jason Wirth, who played for the Nationals from 2011 through 2017, into the Ring of Honor. He became the first true national, the first person based specifically on his career as a national, inducted into the Ring of Honor. The Ring of Honor includes Attendance and fans Attendance Source Topic: Prominent fans. One prominent fan is Rubber Chicken Man, Hugh Kaufman, who waves a rubber chicken over the dugout to ward off Juju. Local sports writers have noted that his ritual sacrifices of rubber chickens often precede turnarounds in the Nationals' performance. Kaufman has built a following at the stadium and in 2013 started a group called the Secret Society of the Rubber Chicken that now claims several Nationals players among its members. Topic. Season standings Standings updated on September 30, 2018. Bold denotes a playoff season, pennant or championship, italics denote an active season. Topic. Spring training The Nationals hold spring training in Florida, where they play their annual slate of Grapefruit League games. From 2005 through 2016, they held spring training at Space Coast Stadium in Vieira, Florida, a facility that they inherited from the Expos. In 2017, the Nationals moved their spring training operations to the ballpark of the Palm Beaches, a new facility they share with the Houston Astros in West Palm Beach, Florida. They played their first Grapefruit League game there on February 28, 2017. On February 16, 2018, it was renamed FITTEAM Ballpark of the Palm Beaches after the Nationals and Astros signed a 12-year deal for the naming rights to the stadium that day with FITTEAM, an event brand partnership and organic products firm located in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida. <laughs> Minor league affiliations On September 18, 2018, the Nationals and the Fresno Grizzlies of the Pacific Coast League announced that they had stuck a two-year player development deal that make Fresno the Nationals' Class AAA affiliate beginning in the 2019 season. Former affiliates Nationals Dream Foundation The Washington Nationals Dream Foundation is the team's charity which is "...committed to community partnerships that improve the lives of children and families across the Washington Capital Region. The foundation opened a youth baseball academy in partnership with the D.C. government, and a pediatric diabetes care center at Children's National Medical Center in partnership with the center. The foundation also provides grants to local organizations. On August 1, 2011, the foundation, in partnership with several local organizations, formally opened Miracle Field in Germantown, Maryland, as part of an effort to encourage athletic activity in children with mental and/or physical challenges. Quote, According to Stephen Miller of MLB.com, what sets Miracle Field apart in terms of safety is its unique design, as it 
is made entirely of a cushioned synthetic turf that is 5 eighths of an inch thick providing a safe surface for children in wheelchairs or with other handicaps. Radio and television The Nationals' flagship radio station is WJFK-FM 106.7 FM, The Fan, which is owned by Entercom. Charlie Slows and Dave Jagler are the play-by-play -play announcers. WJFK fronts a radio network of 19 stations serving portions of Virginia, Maryland, West Virginia, North Carolina, and Delaware as well as the district. WFED AM had been the flagship station since the 2006 season until a multi-year agreement was reached between the Nationals and WJFK before the 2011 season. WFED remains on the network as an affiliate, its 50-kilowatt clear channel signal allows the Nationals' home team call to be heard up and down the East Coast, WWZZ 104.1 FM, which carried games in the 2005 season, was the team's first flagship radio station, Mid-Atlantic Sports Network MASN, televises all games not picked up by one of MLB's national television partners. Bob Carpenter has been the TV play-by-play -play announcer since 2006 and F.P. Santangelo was hired in January 2011 as color analyst. Mel Proctor was the TV play-by announcer in 2005, and former color analysts are Ron Darling (2005), Tom Pechorek (2006), Don Sutton (2007–2008), and Rob Dibble, who took over the job in 2009 and was fired in September 2010 after criticizing Steven Strasburg for not pitching while injured. Ray Knight filled in as color analyst in September 2010 after Dibble was fired. Previously, WDCA Channel 20 carried 76 games in the 2005 season while the newly founded MASN was still negotiating cable carriage. From 2009 through 2017, MASN syndicated a package of 20 games for simulcast on an over-the-air television station in Washington. Broadcast partners under this arrangement were WDCW Channel 50 from 2009 through 2012 and CBS affiliate WUSA Channel 9 from 2013 through 2017. MASN did not continue the syndication deal for the 2018 season. In the midst of a season in which they finished with the worst record in Major League Baseball, the Nationals' television ratings were among the worst in the National League in July 2008 but increased during the 2010 and 2011 seasons. Since 2012, when they began to achieve consistent success on the field, their television viewership has grown continually and dramatically. By 2016, the Nationals' primetime television ratings were 15th highest among the 29 US MLB teams, and they rose to 12th in 2017. With the Nationals finishing with a disappointing 82-80 record in 2018, they fell to 18th among the 29 US teams for the season. Rivalries Baltimore Orioles Beltway Series The Nationals have an interleague rivalry with the nearby Baltimore Orioles, which is nicknamed the Beltway Series. The teams have played two series a season, one in Baltimore and one in Washington, since 2006. Topic Notes Topic Footnotes <laughs> <laughs>